Hello, my name is Jason Grant. After 15 years of designing experiences, I now focus on redesigning human minds for a life of perfection and blissful living all the time. We all want to be normal. In the world of weird, strange, evil and manipulative developments, we all strive to be normal again. First, we need to redefine the meaning of normality. What does normal mean? The word normal has become a more and more of a negative word over the years. Standard definition of normal is the usual, typical or expected state or condition. A few decades ago, it was normal for people to work in a 9 to 5 job, have a home, salary, marriage, couple of children, etc. It was normal because it provided many people with a pretty solid lifestyle. A car, two to three holidays to go to during the year, a relative freedom in life and a fulfilling life experience. The middle class life of 40 years ago was normal because it was a good life. Many people were happy to conform to its standards all because those standards of living were pretty enjoyable. How the world changed. Since the advent of internet, the world started changing in the most profound ways. Internet became a gigantic magnifying lens onto the world and the state of humanity, and someone across the globe. We even started wondering again whether the globe is a globe or whether Earth's shape is more like a dinner plate. <laughs> One of the most important aspects of this profound mental change is that we became more aware of the world. We realized that we all suffer. It was harder and harder to turn a blind eye to the wars in faraway lands and think that they were nothing to do with us. We started joining the dots of how our normal lives were contributing to global suffering. We started waking up to the fact that there is more to life than enjoying the prefabricated form of existence. We started to realize that we were suffering too and not living our lives to our full potential. This format of life which the increasingly more broken social system always served to us as normal, the way to live, the way to be successful, our global awakening. As we expanded our social reach, we started to see more and more of the standard human behavior patterns. People would share certain positive stories on their social channels. Meanwhile, they would live quite the opposite life in the real world. Much discrepancy would arise in our understanding of what people are like. We became aware that the normal living was subject to increasing stress of regular life. Higher costs of living, more work, less satisfaction, more anxiety, unrealistic expectations, etc. Yet we wanted more from life. We developed the fear of missing out, FOMO. We became aware of the essential nature of life experience and living to our full potential. We gained access to so much, yet we were limiting ourselves more all the time. All to conform to the broken norms and standards of the past times. Those beautiful happy times that were no longer beautiful and happy. Times that in fact created lots of happiness for us, but lots of suffering around the world. We wanted to be, do and have more. We started thinking about normalizing the situation for wider community not just us, towards the new normal. So what does the term normal mean today? It means being who we are all the time, embracing our real, true and honest selves. It means living a life of pure purpose, peace, joy, happiness, prosperity and progress. 
As Alan Watts states, we're all uniquely the same, like trees in the forest. Each one is the same, a tree, yet each one has different configurations of leaves, branches and fruits they bear. Carl Jung told us that each person is striving towards individuation. New normal is exactly that, an individuated person. A person that understands the orders of precedence. Planet before purpose, before people, before products, before profits. Living their pure life purpose in a full, awakened, clean and passionate way. All the time. Carl Jung, like many other psychologists of the times past, were stuck in the broken system. They narrated the human condition as it was, rather than worked in designing the future of humanity. Our role today is to help humanity evolve into that new psychology of normality. A fixed, regulated, functional, well-configured, healthy and holistic psychology. Normal, in other words.